January is Alzheimer's Awareness Month and healthy lifestyle expert Dr. Kate Rayom joins me now to chat about brain health. So to clarify here, we're not talking cures or remedies for Alzheimer's, more so about keeping your brain in the best condition possible. Preventative maintenance, Dr. Kate. Exactly. Our brain is a, a kind of a big deal. And so we want to do whatever we can to keep it healthy. So you've got a few points that you've given me here. And the first one involves feeding your mitochondria. Now I've heard the term mitochondria before. Not sure I know exactly what it is though. Mm -hmm. Well, our brain is our most energy hungry organ. It needs lots of energy to do its job. And that energy comes from mitochondria. These are our cellular batteries, engines, power turbines, however you want to think of them. They're producing energy. Electrons are bouncing around and that is creating cellular energy that allows us to think. And so, you know, the mitochondria needs certain nutrients to do their job properly and protect us against those electrons bouncing around that create free radicals. So, uh, for example, glutathione, it's our body's major antioxidant. We make it in the body, but we can also get it through foods like broccoli, cauliflower, radishes, cruciferous vegetables. And it's a nutrient that will help us produce energy in the brain and protect us against free radicals. All right. Now, the second one on your list is something that I feel wakes me up every morning and helps my brain in that way. And that's coffee. But is there more to it than this than just the caffeine perk? Uh, there is. Now, caffeine, of course, will block feelings of tiredness, actually help us process more information. So it does help the brain function. But coffee in particular, fresh brewed coffee, is an amazing source of antioxidants. So lots of free radical protection there. And it does make a difference in protecting our brain, again, against those uh, free radicals. Hmm. All right. So the power of protein is next. And I think every time we chat, there's something about healthy proteins. Uh, and you mentioned chicken breast all the time, right? Chicken breast, uh, you know, meat, salmon, eggs, cheese, wherever you're getting your protein. Recent studies have shown that people with a higher protein intake have lower risk of dementia and other types of, you know, Alzheimer's, for example, is one type of dementia. In particular, people having over 100 grams of protein per day seem to have lower risk factors for uh, Alzheimer's and dementia. And so uh, you know, you wanna look at what you're eating, do a little research, add up the numbers and make sure you're getting in adequate amounts of protein. Now, along with protein, we always hear protein and fat go together. And a lot of people try to cut the fat out of their diet, but there are healthy fats out there. And I'm guessing topping up your fats, it should be healthy fats that you're getting into your body to help your brain. Absolutely. This may be the single most important nutritional tip. Our brain is 60% fat by weight. So the fats that we eat make a huge difference in the composition, the health of our brain tissue. So out with the processed vegetable oils and in with omega-3 essential fatty acids that you can find in fish and seafood, as well as flax seeds and other healthy fats like uh, avocados and olive oil and even walnuts contain brain healthy fats. I was waiting for you to say avocado. I feel as though every time healthy fat is brought up anywhere, it's like avocado, very fatty, but it's a healthy fat and that makes it okay in moderation. Uh, mm -hmm. The final one here very much surprised me and that is eat some curry. Now curry is not something that you find on everyone's menu. I personally enjoy it, but it's not for everyone. But why is it important for brain health? Mm -hmm. We're talking about the traditional yellow curry. That yellow color comes from the spice turmeric, and this contains a component called curcumin. It has anti-inflammatory, antioxidant effects. It's been shown to work in the brain to help, again, protect against free radicals, protect against inflammation. Even some studies show that it's one of the things, along with exercise, that may help us grow new brain cells. I love it. Well, I'm down for curry. I mean, it's delicious to begin with. So when you give me things that are delicious that you tell me to, you know, indulge in, I'm all for it. Dr. Kate, always a pleasure. Thank you so much. We're keeping our brains healthy so we don't dive into that world of dementia once we get older. Thanks so much. You're welcome. Take care. 